how to do this warp effect and DaVinci Resolve. Ah. Damn, getting old. So this effect is actually pretty simple. Make sure to set up your camera onto a tripod like this and then you need some different shots. So the first shot we need is the clean plate. So make sure nothing is in your scene and just let the camera roll. And make sure your camera is set to manual focus because it won't work with the autofocus. Then go over to the positions where you want to warp in. So for example, I started here. So I pretend like I'm falling down and then I will speak my words. And then I will decide which chair I will use the next. So I go onto this one. Then you can cut the clip after you're talking and then just pretend like you're falling into this chair. So I was at this position and then I pretend like I'm falling into this position and then continue talking. And then I go onto this chair. So I go over and then once again, I pretend like I'm falling into this chair and then continue talking. And that's pretty much all you need. So let's jump right into Da Vinci. So we're here in Da Vinci and let's cut this clip. Here I've got my clean plate where nothing is in the frame. So I just cut one frame out of here. That's enough and go in here, select this frame, change clip speed and freeze frame. Then I go further through the clip where I'm talking and here I'm saying how to do and I just trim this clip here when I pretend like I'm falling into the chair here just cut from there and when you're finished with talking set there a cut then take the next one then here once again then when I fall into the chair like this I set the cut here once again and then all the way to the end should be around here this was just a little joke like here here once again here when i'm falling into the chair cut and we will end this here so the first one here is our clean plate so select your clips here take it one layer above and then drag this clean plate all the way to the end so this clean plate is as long as your whole clips we can adjust that later if we need to. Then here at the beginning, I want to have like six, six or seven frames. So I take these clips and drag it over. Make sure this chain is enabled so your audio comes with you right here. And then from this position to this position, I want the warp effect to have four frames. So I go further one, two, three, four frames, drag them over. And here once again, I want to have it one, two, three, four frames like this. So what we've got is the clean plate. I'm falling in, talking, clean plate, falling in, clean plate, warp over there. And that's what we got so far. So now we can adjust our clean plate right here. Now we're gonna fill these gaps here. We start over here. We set our timeline here and add here one frame and set a cut. And this one, change clip speed, freeze frame and drag it over so we have to freeze frame and then falling in and we do the same thing here at this gap we add one frame at the end of the first clip set a cut freeze frame and fill the gap here once again add one frame freeze it and clear the gap like this. So every time here we have just the freeze frame and then we're at the next position. Now select each one of this clip and create a new fusion clip with them. Then open it up in the fusion page. Now I will show you two ways how to mask it out. The first way is in the free version of DaVinci Resolve and the second one in the studio version. So I set here the polygon mask go right here to invert so I can see my image, zoom a little bit in and now I just start to masking myself out. It don't need to be perfect because it's just four frames and we add a lot of motion blur so it's not clearly visible 
uh, how good you did the masking so don't worry about that we can perfectly fix that it's a bit more time consuming like this but in some cases you get the better result when you mask it out manually then you can invert it back like this and you've cut out yourself here in the freeze frame so when i turn this on and off it's just me disappearing and we will do the same thing with this freeze frame and with this freeze frame And the last one, you can do it with the magic mask. Hit shift and spacebar, type in magic mask and simply draw a line over yourself. Adjust the refine range until you're happy and track it. So just a quick summary what we have so far. Down here, we have our clean plate the whole time. Then we've got our freeze frame where I'm falling in talking freeze frame talking freeze frame and the end now we just need to keyframe ourselves so for the first one here i go to the last frame set here on the position the keyframe one two three four frames back and i just drag myself up out of the frame so i'm just falling in like this then on the next freeze frame, I'm sitting back here. Then on the first frame, I set a keyframe on position and size. Then go to the last frame and I just position myself like I'm on this chair in front of here. Like this. So I'm just talking and then in this freeze frame, I'm flying right here and do the same thing here keyframe just on the position because i'm not changing my uh, my size then go over these four frames drag myself over there like this so i'm flying in talking flying there and flying there and now you see why it's very important that you pretend like you're you're falling into this chair it looks way more natural instead of just sitting there now we come up with the little spice go up here to effects and down here on open effects you've got here the directional blur add this directional blur on all three frames then with the first frame selected go to the inspector and here blur type you can change it how you want to have it in my opinion it looks better for this one when you do it on stylized then you can adjust the blur strength and the angle so we just rotate our angle like this because we're falling down like this then we do the same thing here go to stylized push the blur up and adjust the angle like this and with the last one stylized blur angle around zero like this so when we play it back it looks like this looks okay for now but we can definitely do it better so go through your timeline and every time you hit a chair like here set a marker here once again and here once again make sure your marker is up here on the timeline not down here on your clip so when you have a clip selected and you set a marker it's down here we don't need that we need it up here so with nothing selected just hit the marker and it's up there then select all your clips up here and create with them a new fusion clip go to the first marker and open it up in the fusion with the media in selected, hit shift and spacebar, type in camera shake. Now we're gonna add a shake to underline this thing. So the first thing we do is, you see we have now here this border and we don't want that. So go to edges and go to duplicate. So this fills the gap. Then here on the first marker, I want to have the overall strength on 0.5. This is the maximum of shake I want to have. So I set here a keyframe, go one frame back and set it down to zero because I want the shake to start at this frame and I want the shake to have 10 frames long so I go 10 frames further here and set it down to zero so when you open up your splines up here with this one 
click on zoom to fit you can see our shake starts here and goes all the way to here these 10 frames and we're gonna do this two more times here on the next marker at this point one frame back i want to have the overall strength at zero here at the marker at 0 0.5 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten frames later, back to zero. And we do it with this marker, one frame back, zero, at the marker, 0 0.5. And ten frames further, we're gonna end this. Then go to settings, motion blur, turn it all the way up, because we all love motion blur. Down here on the splines, click zoom to fit maybe two times, sometimes it won't work. Command or Ctrl A to select everything and now press F, not S, because when you press S, it creates a curve down here and we don't want that, we just want to press F, so we have here a straight line. Back in the edit page, your edit looks something like this. Just add some sound effects, some whooshes, some impacts, some risers, and you're good to go. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.